Hey guys, so I can't believe I am 38 weeks pregnant, and I know this sounds silly, but I've been so stressed about going into labor, leaving here, and having someone discover this closet. Oh my. I have no idea how it got so disorganized, but I knew exactly who to call for help. Hi. Hey Al, how are you? I need help, look at this place. If my in-laws see this when they come, I'm going to die. Don't worry Al, I've got some easy steps and I'm gonna walk you through it. You guys might remember Catherine from my pantry overhaul, and today she's gonna give us five tips for organizing a tough space, and you guys are not gonna believe the final result. Okay, Al, so the first thing I would do is I would start getting rid of stuff. It's definitely the most time consuming part, but once you get started, you're gonna purge stuff, donate, and even return, and then you're gonna have a bunch of space to work with. I can actually see the floor, amazing. And be brutal with it. Don't keep things if you haven't used them in a year or more. So the next step is to pick your container. I really like clear shoe boxes. They're great for art supplies or travel supplies, and they're not so big that things are gonna get lost inside. And you can put them back into the closet in any order, and it doesn't matter, it's still gonna look organized, and they look really neat with labels on them. This is my favorite part. Step three is to create stations by frequency of access. So based on what I'm seeing in your closet, it would be great to have an art supply station, medicine, somewhere to store extra kids' toys, shipping supplies, so that way you aren't rustling around in the closet to find what you need. The next tip is to find space for everything else. And all of your containers don't have to look the same. You don't have to keep lids on everything. Some things don't even need to be contained because the whole point is that you can access things easily. So the final tip is to consolidate. Take supplies like toilet paper and toiletries out of their packaging so you have more space. And remember, you don't have to fill up every single space in this closet. It's good to have a little bit of extra space and you're definitely gonna need it with another baby. All right guys, here is the before and the after. I'm so excited. Not only does it look so much better, but everything is super accessible and easy to find, and it really wasn't that difficult to do. Thank you, Catherine. You are so welcome, Al. It looks so awesome. I absolutely love this. It just, it feels like I can actually find things. So you guys, I hope you go check out Catherine's channel, Do It On A Dime. She is amazing. I don't know if I'm gonna see you next week, but I will definitely keep you updated. Thanks for watching. I hope this inspired you to go tackle something tough. Bye. How does it look? It looks beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, buddy.